to start this look off, what we're gonna go ahead and do first is we're gonna go ahead and install our extensions. So I'm gonna turn her around, and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is stagger them, almost like brick layer them. So we're gonna do two at the bottom, one in the middle, two again, one in the middle, and then a couple on the side. So I'm taking the end of my rat tail comb, creating a nice section here at the bottom. Then we're gonna take sections of hair and aggressively tease where we're gonna go ahead and install the extension. And that's gonna be our base to our extension. So we're gonna use the unicorn box today. So I'm gonna use the panel of pink and blue first. So we're just gonna go ahead and install those where we did the back combing. We're gonna open up the clip. Then we're gonna go ahead and slide the extension through and then turn it the other way. And that's gonna be our first section. We're gonna go ahead and continue that with that brick lane technique all the way throughout the head before we create our floating mermaid braid. Now that we've created our brick layering pattern in the back, we're gonna go ahead and go on to the sides. So when you're working with the sides, I always like to do it at a diagonal. That way it just kind of blends and flows with the hair a little bit better, especially since we're gonna be pulling the hair back into our mermaid style. So we're gonna go ahead and take a section like this. So at an angle, I call it a diagonal forward section. We're gonna go ahead and clip that front piece away. And then right behind that section is where we're gonna go ahead and tease it aggressively and then put our extension in there. Take it and then clip it in there. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. We're gonna add one more extension on the top here. Then we're gonna get started with our braid. Now that we've installed all of our extensions by the braid box, we're gonna go ahead and create our braid. So we're gonna create a floating mermaid braid. So you're gonna take two sections, one on each side, and then a small section of hair in the middle. Make sure all of your sections are nice and combed out. We have our two sections in the side. We're gonna go ahead and take a section from the middle. We're gonna start this off by a simple three strand braid. Making two to three passes down. Now we're gonna create our floating effect. 
So I've gone two passes down, I'm over to the right side. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a small strand of hair from the outside of her hair. Picking that up, adding that into that right section and crossing it over. We're on our left side now, taking a small piece of hair, adding it to that left section and crossing it over. Now we're gonna make a couple passes down. We're back on that right side. I'm gonna take a small piece of hair from the right. And I'm gonna grab some of that extension that you can see here to really add that pop of color. Add that to our right side and cross it over. Now we're on the left side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Grab that extension here, that pop of color, adding it to the left side and crossing it over. Do the same thing, right to left. Now that we've gotten to the ends, we're just gonna go ahead and create a fishtail braid. So we're gonna take some hair from the outside, again, picking up those extensions where we see it, and simply crossing it over to right to left, then left to right, and creating a simple fishtail technique where you're just taking a small piece of hair, crossing over right to left. So we're only dealing with two sections now. And as I'm crossing them, I'm kind of being mindful of those hair extensions in there and grabbing the colors when I see them so that they really allow the color to stand out. We've ran out of hair to add, so we're just gonna continue with our simple fishtail braid. Now I'm gonna take smaller sections because I want it to get wide and then a little bit skinny. That kind of makes that mermaid kind of look stand out. So just doing a simple fishtail braid. Once we get to the ends, I'm gonna go ahead and actually back comb it so it stays into place. I'm gonna take my comb, aggressively back comb the ends, fan those ends out, and then go through and pancake the hair out, also known as stretching the braid to make it nice and full. And that really allows the extensions to show through as well. Now we're gonna utilize a little bit of hairspray to help keep that braid into place. And that is a great mermaid style utilizing the braid box by Society Extensions. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link below where you guys can go ahead and purchase your own braid box. Definitely check it out and subscribe to my channel for all sorts of hair love and I'll see you soon.